What's up, this is Kevin at winksound.com. In this video, I'm gonna teach you about different global quantization techniques. Uh, this is pretty useful in the session mode when you're doing your live DJ set uh, to keep everything in time. Um, so it's really important to do that. So I hope this is useful and check it out. Up here you have your global quantization menu and you have some different options here. Uh, if you have it set on none, your launch will just happen automatically uh, with no regards to the time of the song. So it'll play exactly when you press it. And it will stop right when you press it. So as you can see right there, uh, it's easy to get a little out of time when you have it on that. Um, but sometimes it could be useful to have it on that setting because it, you know, if you wanted to launch something, you know, crazy out of time to make it sound cool, uh, you could do that. Uh, but it's really useful to have it on like a quarter note setting or an eighth note setting. Uh, and what this will do, it'll launch it in this case in the nearest quarter note uh, of the of the song. Um, so I'll, I'll put the metronome on so you can hear the ticks. And so uh, you could hear that that launched it on the the next uh, possible quarter note, um, and it stopped on that as well. So you know sometimes you might want to get a little crazy, uh, get down to a sixteenth note because then you can relaunch it uh, for some cool effects. You know, so so like I said, it's easy to get uh, a little out of sync there. So if that ever happens, your master clips are also quantized uh, on with the global. So you know, you can relaunch the scene. You can relaunch the scene so that it's uh, everything's in sync with each other. So. And what's useful when you're watching after your quantization is this track status to display down here, which is like a little pie graph that'll tell um, how many beats are in your particular loop. So you have eight there, you know, in this one you have four. And then on the left it'll say how many times you have played that particular loop. So uh, when things can get a little messy with a big uh, DJ set, uh, these things are helpful. You can always get in touch with Kevin at wingsound.com as well as watch more of Kevin's videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live. Now available on demand at wingsound.com.